Ladies and gentlemen, let's move to that second fight. And that is I am Thompson and Sam Hyde. Two heavyweights going at it in this fight. I am Thompson, we'll go to you. You're at Wild Card Boxing in Los Angeles, preparing for, quite frankly, a monster. Tell That's me right. what the preparation has been like for the candy man. It's been a lot of hard work in the gym, a lot of hours. It's been a it's been a good fucking time at Wildcard. I love that gym. I think um, on Saturday night, one, one thing I can promise for sure is like we're two big guys around 260 pounds. We're both going to hit hard. So it's going to be a show, that's for sure. Sam, I'll come to you. I don't actually know how to describe your training methods, how to describe much about the way you prepare for this fight, other than to say you're a man ready. Talk to me about this fight, Sam, and what you're going to do to this man on Saturday night. Oh, I don't know. Have you heard much Irish folklore? I haven't heard a lot, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. When you were a wee lad growing up in Ireland, and you looked out and you saw the green grass and the blue sky, did they ever teach you any of the old songs from the old days? They didn't, but go ahead and teach me one. I'd love to hear one. Well, I was going to anyway. <laughs> it's called The Death of Dull Rye. It goes like this. I told you once, I told you twice. The candy man, he don't play nice. Men from Ireland, we don't back down. We'll turn your smile into a frown. Jump for joy and come, my friends, to the pot of gold at Rainbow's End. True Irish remember the tale of William Wallace, the first alpha male. His ghost of the isle fights by my side. It is to him to whom I confide. Tee hee hee, the candy man sees. It's font small. All possible futures that now could be. Sugar me biscuits dollop the eyes. Candyman speaketh with buttered up pride. Caramel gloves cut through skin of lies when Candyman sweeten the death of Dorai. Did you get that? Wait. I, that's how you translate for me, Wade. I don't translate. think I can translate that one for you, but I assume that was a message of fear, intimidation, and. He's bringing it on Saturday, and regardless of that that uh that story, there's I mean, all, be... all I know is like when you have two big guys on stage, it's a fun fucking time, you know. Absolutely. So it's gonna be a fun fucking time. You never know what's gonna happen, and we're gonna bring it. I am Thompson. I want a prediction for this fight. Really, you know, it's your first time on this big of a stage, but again, heavyweights, one shot can end this thing. What are you seeing happening on Saturday night? How do you get this done? It's gonna go out there. I'm gonna have a good time. I'm gonna swing. Keep up the energy and then knock out Sam in the second round. Let's go to Sam Hyde. How do we get this fight done in your best riddle possible? Well, lad, when you were growing up in Ireland and you looked out and you saw the sweet maidens in their dresses dancing their Irish dances, <laughs> did you ever hear perhaps the Candyman's song? Will no. You candy for me well, it goes like head? this. <laughs> Sweet sugary adversaries are perfect for the munching. With a hankering for confectionaries, my fists are hungry for punching. I weave my cotton candy web, and you fall into my trap. Procure my bib and dessert fork, so that I may begin to snack. Should I crunch him now, or shall I savor every lick? I could punish him slowly, or dip and sprinkle him quick. First, I'll gingerly ginger snap his candy coated pretzel arms in half. Then, I'll buttery pop gumdrop smack him to the chocolatey canvas with a slap. In the marshmallow ring, the ropes look like twizzlers. Body shots to my jelly belly merely give me a snicker. <laughs> Cookie cups and candy canes, sugar plums galore. The candy man with sour patch fists will knock you clean to the floor. I'll pumpkin crumb cream crunch punch his powdered donut head until the juniper belly jelly jam comes tumble bumble squeezing out of his neck. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's move on to our next fight, and that is Andy Worski versus Salt 